Over the last few days, a good part of the UK has seen some very heavy rainfall at times, and that's led to some quite serious flooding in some places, and also some travel disruption, particularly to motorways and some rail networks. Now the bad news I'm afraid is that over the next few days we're going to see further heavy rainfall at times, particularly through the weekend, and also some strong winds too, which could have some quite significant impacts. Now during Thursday we saw an active cold front moving eastwards across the country. That brought further heavy, in fact torrential in places, uh, rainfall, with some very strong and gusty winds in, in, a, in a good part of the country. That moved away through the latter part of Thursday uh, into the continent, as we can see through here, away into the low countries and across France bringing some, something of a respite in the weather through the latter part of Friday into early Saturday. However, you can see this cold front here stretches all the way down through Biscay, down towards the west of Iberia where we have a developing depression. Now associated with this depression is some very warm air from low latitudes containing a lot of moisture, a lot of energy, and therefore we're seeing uh, a depression deepening and moving northeastwards towards the weekend. So if I just skip forward to the early part of Saturday, uh, we'll have this window where we see a ridge of high pressure, a cold night, Friday night into Saturday, uh, frosts and fog in places, before we start to see rain arriving in the south during Saturday. Now first of all it'll arrive across southern counties and then spread northwards through the latter part of Saturday into Sunday. Now associated with this depression as well as heavy rainfall falling on already saturated ground with high river levels, so we're going to see some flooding in places. Uh, also we'll see some strong winds too. Now whilst we're quite confident that this, this depression will track northwards, exactly where it tracks and how deep it's going to be is subject to some uncertainty at this stage as we usually see two or three days ahead. Now where you can see the isobars being close together that means we're going to see very strong winds. So widespread heavy rain and strong winds during Saturday night into Sunday. Where exactly we see the strongest winds depends on exactly where this feature tracks. Should this track slightly further northwards we could see severe gale if not storm force winds through the channel as a worst case scenario but whether that happens or not we'll certainly see a large area of heavy rain and strong winds. So if you have travel plans for the weekend particularly for late Saturday or Sunday the best advice really is to stay tuned to our forecast, tuned to our web website and keep in touch with the various warnings which we'll have out for this period. By the beginning of Sunday, this low is starting to track northeastwards towards the North Sea. However, there's still some uncertainty as to how quickly that happens and how deep it's going to be. So we'll probably still see some heavy rain and strong winds across a good part of the country well into Sunday, particularly in the north and across Scotland. Uh, elsewhere, probably a clearing up sort of day during Sunday. However, down to the southwest, you can see this next low developing through here. That will bring the risk of further heavy rainfall towards the start of next week.